This is a big week for the San Francisco 49ers in regards to monitoring practice updates because, as we know, the 49ers have a decent amount of players that are hurt right now. So we've gotten our first legitimate practice updates out of Santa Clara today. Now, yesterday was a glorified – it was like a walkthrough, so it wasn't really a practice. Today is technically their first legitimate practice of the week as they get prepared – for this game against the Washington Commanders. So let's take a look at the players who did not practice today. And uh, it's kind of a daunting list, I'll be completely honest with you. But let's take a look at it, break it down, and talk about why we should or should not be concerned about certain players. So starting off at the very top, Eric Armstead didn't practice today with a foot knee injury. I would have to say that it is definitely trending towards Eric Armstead missing this game against the Washington Commanders. And there could be a situation that does exist where we don't see Eric Armstead at all for the remainder of the regular season and the San Francisco 49ers, you know, in hopes uh, just kind of keeping him on the shelf uh, until they get to the playoffs to ensure he's as fresh and healthy at, as he can be for the big playoff push. So, I personally don't anticipate Eric Armstead will be available for this game against the Commanders. I'll be surprised if he's able to go versus the Rams, um, but we'll see. But as we know, the San Francisco 49ers added a huge piece in the form of Sebastian Joseph Day to the defensive line to kind of help aid with this. So I think that in of itself allows Eric Armstead to just kind of relax, chill out, and not rush back. And I think that's the biggest thing for Eric. Don't rush back. Uh, make sure you're 100% when you're ready to go. That way, the San Francisco 49ers uh, have the most formidable defensive line possible uh, for this big playoff push. So that's what's going on with Eric Armstead. I think one of the more concerning injuries to come out of this game was Jair Brown, who's dealing with a knee. According to Matt Barrows and David Lombardi, he was working off to the side, so he's on the side field, which I guess is leaves a little bit of room for optimism that he's at least rehabbing and visibly rehabbing, but we will continue to have to monitor this, and that makes tomorrow's practice availability huge for Jair Brown uh, because if he misses tomorrow, I would doubt that he plays in this game against the Commanders, and we heard from Steve Wilkes earlier today essentially say that if Jair can't go, we're probably looking at Isaiah Oliver as safety uh, or Logan Ryan, one of the two. So the San Francisco 49ers are getting extremely thin at the safety position. Jair uh, would be the third injury, two season ending to Talano Hufanga and George Odom. Obviously, Jair's not as serious, but he is potentially going to miss this game. So that will be tomorrow's practice report for Jair Brown is going to be massive. Now, this one is also concerning. Jawan Jennings doesn't practice today with a concussion. And the reason why that is concerning is because I personally thought he had a chance to clear the concussion protocol last week and be able to go for this game against the Ravens. And I think the 49ers really missed Jawan um, out there on the field, especially all the big plays that he makes on third down. Uh, he's just been such a safety blanket in those gotta have it situations and i feel like he was definitely missed in this game last week so the fact that we're now two practices in and he's still not participating is a bit of concern so that again puts a big emphasis on tomorrow's practice for Jawan and his availability so man tomorrow's practice report is is turning out to be a big one that we are going to be waiting for because the 49ers need Jawan Jennings out there. Um, as we've seen, we saw Willie Sneed fill in. Uh, he did okay in spots, but again, uh, Jawan is just playing at such a high level recently, it's hard to not have him out there. Now, here's another concerning one. Aaron Banks dealing with the toe. Remember, he missed multiple weeks with a toe injury uh, prior to this. So I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not totally clear if this is a re-injury or a new injury i'm assuming it's a re-injury based on the the toe keeping him out earlier in the year but again this is going to be something that we will have to keep our eye on so obviously 
if Banks can't go, I would imagine that they would take Jonathan Feliciano, put him back at left guard, put Spencer Burford back in at right guard, and go from there. It does sound like uh, the good news is, is that Trent Williams is practicing today. So it's a second practice in a row that he's participating in, which again is a great sign that he was able to avoid any type of serious injury. So that is absolutely good news. So for the San Francisco 49ers, they are just going to have to ensure that they are healthy on that interior offensive line. And if not, they will have to shift some things around. And staying on the offensive line, Jalen Moore also not practicing, dealing with a concussion. So, um, yeah, some tough injuries to come out of this game or existing injuries. However, the good news is, is that Trent Williams escaped without serious injury. I do anticipate he will play uh, in this game facing off against the team that drafted him. So that is a good sign. We need Trent healthy, and we already know um, he is such an anchor for that offensive line. Having him out would be disastrous. Um, and we saw, man, the San Francisco 49ers, had they were down to their last offensive lineman in that game against the Ravens. Um, when Chris Forster was talking to the media today, he said that if they suffered one more injury to the offensive line, that means that they would have had to put tight end Charlie Warner in at tackle and then shift whoever else around, which is crazy. Um, and let's say that uh, Brendel went down in that scenario. They would have had to put Colton McKivitt at center. So the 49ers dangerously thin on that offensive line. And uh, we'll have to see. Uh, how healthy these guys can get up front. But again, the biggest takeaway from all this is that we have some key positions that are hurt. Defensive line, not as impactful with that additional signing as we talked about at the very beginning. Safety, big concern uh, if Jair Brown can't go. Also keep in mind, Eric Harris is on the practice squad as well. He could be a guy that could be elevated from the practice squad and potentially play. So the 49ers have some options, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what the 49ers ultimately have to do there and hopefully hopefully get the offensive line back into a good spot, get, get healthy because, man, uh, what a brutal situation for the 49ers last week with all the injuries and all the guys having to come out. Again, I think the biggest takeaway is that so far it doesn't appear that we have any severe long lasting injuries we'll again we have to wait and see with Aaron Banks and what that toes acting up like but everything else seems like these guys will be able to play again this year so that's a good sign but a lot a lot a lot a lot uh with these practice reports that's why tomorrow's practice report is going to be a significantly massive one in regards to these guys' availability. So let me know what you guys think about all these injuries and what your expectations are. Are you concerned? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.